Hello and privet everyone. I know I never made a specific video regarding Red Orchestra 2 settings and a few of you asked this question both on my stream and YouTube comments. So yeah, I decided to make a dedicated video just for this. Uh, before we start, I want to say that those are the settings that I personally used for a very long time and the ones that I like the most. It's a nice balance between decent quality and performance, but you can change whatever you want so it's better for you. Uh, Alright, let's start and go step by step of what you change in game first. Okay, so on the settings tab, uh, FOV, FOV you can't change here, uh, we, we'll discuss about this, but you want no hints, you don't want those annoying hints to show up every single time, so don't do that. But what you really want is manual bolting. It's much, much faster than how the game uh, bolts the rifles for you. You don't want auto reloading, but you want it for vehicles, for tanks. Now on the video tab, uh, I have everything on medium mostly. You must make sure use hardware physics is on, uh, vsync unchecked, detail mode medium, medium, texture quality low, medium, medium, anti-aliasing, fx AA high, I don't want trees and stuff to look really weird, then everything else on medium, occlusion quality normal, and all those things unchecked. Now, again, those are the settings that I like, I don't like to see sun rays, light uh, rays, whatever, all those things. They are annoying for me, I want to be able to spot the enemy fast and without much distraction, so that's why I use medium. But if you like anything else, be my guest, change it how you want. Now this one, post-processing preset, uh, you can change this on the game, like as you play the game. A war movie, it adds a lot of um, grain, like it's a movie, yeah, <laughs> uh, and enhanced it basically makes the colors more vibrant. Usually I play on normal, but sometimes when I'm bored, I change it to enhanced. Now on the audio tab, um, this is the sounds, make them as loud as you want. I have it turned off currently because the music is uh, on this and uh, YouTube will make a copyright claim. Uh, but what you want here is to make sure the max channels is set to 128 and sound quality high. Voice message frequency, I set it to all, so I can so I can hear all the messages my character is uh, saying. And uh, again, use native voices, majority of the people play with this checked, like uh, have, it, uh, have your character speak in German or Russian. However, I don't use this, uh, mainly since I started playing competitive Red Orchestra in the tournaments we had in the, pa in the past and so on. Uh, what I want is uh, when I shoot a window, for example, my character is going to say something. Uh, he's, pinned da he's pinned down or uh, let's shoot him or whatever he's saying. So I know that there's an enemy there, but uh, if he's speaking in Russian, I have no idea. Uh, I spoke this with Skarke, a very good player as well. And uh, he said that after a while you start to understand basically what he's saying and you will figure it out. But uh, that's how I got used with it. I use this a lot. I rely on what my character is speaking. So I have it set on English. It's much easier for me. Uh, let's go to controls. Uh, here is just personal preference. But what I recommend you to do is, uh, where is it? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, over here, iron sights, uh, basically when you right click, uh, you want to be on hold. I played a long time on toggle, but uh, you are much faster if you have it on hold. You can make, uh, especially if you play riflemen, uh, majority of the good riflemen in this game uh, have iron sights on hold because it's much easier to make quick scopes, quick shots, yeah? so. Use a uh, right mouse button on hold on iron sights. I have drop weapon on one of my mouse buttons. It's easy for me, but yeah, uh, this is a setting which I recommend you to do. Alt fire, basically when you're the tank or when you want to stab someone, melee charge, all those things. Uh, in 
default is on middle mouse button which is uh, pressing the scroll button on your mouse uh, the problem with this is that uh, you will have to lift your uh, index finger from uh, left click and actually press the scroll button uh, this sometimes puts you at a disadvantage so it's much easier to press it with your thumb on your left hand pressing x instead of, of lifting your index finger uh, in general in whatever games you play competitive or not it's best to not lift your index finger on your right hand from the left click of your mouse button at all it should stay there all the time <laughs> that's like a normal thing and over here set it whatever you like uh, mouse sensitivity and all those we are going to discuss them on the settings INI files so let's go over there okay and now here we are in uh, this folder you need to go to your PC documents my games Red Orchestra 2 Arrow game and config folder and the changes we're gonna make are in those files Arrow engine Arrow game and Arrow input input makes all the settings your key bindings all that stuff uh, you double click it and here is the setting that you can change mouse sensitivity I have set it at 12 uh, you can set it to whatever you want uh, and then you can make custom bindings here however I don't uh, use them in here I make them straight into the game and I will uh, put in the description a few of the key bindings that I'm using like a, a quick way to suicide a quick way to type np a quick way to type hello everyone and stuff like that uh, then in arrow game uh, over here you can change your fov so just search for fov and again this is personal preference however uh, the higher the number i think the default is 75 if i'm not mistaken but uh, the higher you go, it's much easier to hip fire with your rifle or whatever weapon, but it's specifically for rifle. Uh, a good balance is between 90 and 100, let's say 110, something like that. If you go much higher, the game will look really weird. You can try it out if you want. What I use is 105. Uh, I've been using 100 and 105 for a very long time, and this is what I prefer so yeah this is how you change your fov you can't change it from the game menu and then in arrow engine here you uh, can uncap your fps which i recommend uh, if your pc can handle it uncap it uh, get as many fps as you can it's gonna be more awesome so what you do is search for b smooth frame rate and make sure uh, default it's false i think or I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, so set it at true, and then you need to set a minimum smoothed frame rate, which I set it at 62, and a max smoothed frame rate. Now, <coughs> if you have a 144 hertz monitor, set this at 144. If you play in 120 hertz monitor, set it at 120. I have 144 monitor however I limit my frame rate at 90 so it never goes above 90 why because if you go much higher uh, your weapon sway for rifles and so on will be huge when ADSing uh, if you play on 60 frames per second your ADS will be much more stable you can find videos about this if you want but the perfect balance for me is 90 also it helps me when I'm streaming on Twitch cause uh, less resources and so on and so forth so yeah this is how I use it uh, minimum 62 max smoothed frame rate 90 uh, you need to change this a few times in the config file so I'm gonna click find next make sure this is set at true and then this is set at true you need to do the same exact thing for the other uh, setting max smoothed frame rate search for this it's gonna appear multiple times in the in the config file change all of those the same way okay you can see it appears three times also a really uh, good setting that I have here is gamma uh, if 
this depends on your monitor colors and so on. Uh, what I use is Gamma 2.5. It makes um, basements and stuff like that much more, uh, much more higher uh, lightning, lighting. Uh, so I have it set at 2.5. And then there's also brightness, which you can change as a command, which is set here at scene brightness. I have it set at 1.5. I think default is one. Uh, and gamma, I think default is two. You can't get much higher than 2.5 on gamma. Whatever you go higher, nothing is gonna change. Uh, so it will set the max at 2.5 even if you enter five, for example. And then all those settings are the, the ones you see in game, like adaptive bloom, set to false, and the ones I talked before. So yeah, those are the settings that I use. I hope you guys like them or I don't know, use them, see how they work out for you and whatever you need to change, just change. So yeah, thank you for watching the video and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye. Das Vidania.